Hello and welcome once more to Bunsy's vlog. How are you? Are you well? Jolly good. Today I want to talk about an idea I've had. I've been thinking about this for a while. I've been umming and eyeing about whether to do it and whether it's worthwhile doing it. And I've decided, sod it, I'm going to give it a go for a month and see how it goes. And what I'm going to do is, and this isn't a big thing to some people who probably do it all the time, but to me it's a big thing because, you know, I tend to talk about things but then never do them. And I guess that's why I like vlogging, because, you know, you're talking about stuff, but you don't necessarily have to do anything. What I am going to do, because I started last night, actually, is selling stuff on eBay. And I'm going to do it for one month. Basically, I've got a load of crap that I want to get rid of, which, you know, isn't really crap. It's not the sort of stuff that I chuck out. It's mainly video games. And... You know, I looked up a few of the prices of some of these games that I bought for a quid or two, and now some of them are worth kind of like, you know, 25, 30 quid. And I was thinking, wow, that's quite good. You know, and they're all pre-owned things. But I was thinking, actually, how much money could I make from this if I actually did it? And then, so I signed up to eBay thinking, oh, it'll be easy. I'll just be able to list as many things as I want. But it's not that easy because there's all these rules on eBay. Like, for instance, you know, obviously you can sell as many things as you want. But it costs you like 35 pence or whatever it is in the UK in order to put up a listing on eBay. So unless, and this is the little the trick thing, you can put up 20 items a month for sale and you don't get charged the 35p listing price. And, you know, I know a lot of people will be going, well, 35p is nothing. Um, it is nothing, yeah, but what if you're selling a game that you're selling it for a fiver and you know it's not worth much more than a fiver, but by the time you put it up on eBay, you have to pay 35p, so that takes the price down to, what is that, 465 And then eBay take 10% uh, of anything you make, so take off another 50p, so that's like 410, 420, whatever it is. I'm not working out the maths, I'm just doing it roughly. So 420. But that price, people want you to include postage, don't they? Because they don't want to pay extra for some cheap game. They don't want to pay a quid or two. So then you take off the postage. So before you know it, there's another like, quid 50 gone. So you're down to about sort of a few quid. And if you're selling something, you know, obviously, if it's an old game you've paid a quid for, great. If you paid more for it, you've already made a loss. But if you've only paid a quid for it, then you're only going to make a quid. So by the time you sort of sent it as well, you've not even made a quid, so it's hardly worth it. So I was thinking, what is the best way to do eBay? You know, what should I bother listing? What should I not list? When I choose prices, should I look at things that have sold recently on eBay and go for the highest price or just above the highest price, in which case I'm going to scare everyone off? Or do I go just below the highest price so I'm sort of offering a better deal? And there's a lot of things you've got to take into consideration. So anyway, I've been thinking about it a lot. And what I've decided to do is because I can put 20 items up without paying 35 pence to list them, even though I still pay the 10% or whatever if I sell them, I'm going to put up 20 items on eBay and this is going to be the start of my eBay shop. And if things sell, great, then next month I put up more items. And that's the other thing, if you do more than 20 items... I think it's if you do more than 20 items, or if you, no, maybe it's 50 items. I'll have to look into this. But if you do a certain amount of items, I think it is 50. After that, you have to start doing tax returns. I mean, tax returns for eBay? Fair enough, if you're selling, you know, a thousand items a month, I can understand. But if you're selling a few old games you want to get rid of, or DVDs, or whatever, music, whatever, you're not going to be bothered even doing it if you then have to do a tax return. So anyway... I figure first month I'll put up 20 items, I'll see what profit I can make from it and I'll do another video at the end of the month and let you know how I've got on. And if you want to know what I'm putting up, my eBay user thing is going to be <gasps> put it up on the screen somewhere <gasps> so you can check out what I've put up and that's not a hint, you know, to sell stuff because this video is probably going up well after I've actually put the stuff online. i just see how I get on and at the end of the month maybe I'll do another sort of update video and let you know if it's worth it to become an internet dealer. And I'll try and price things at different prices and then I can kind of gauge where the money is, if there's any money at all, and if it's actually worth doing eBay these days, because it seems awfully expensive to list anything. Anyway, uh, if you're an eBay seller or buyer, let me know what you think, your tips and hints and all that business, and uh, just check in and see how I'm getting on. Maybe you'll learn how to be an eBayer as well. Anyway, who knows? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>